Welcome back. You're watching Morning Live. What would it take for you to believe in spiritual healing? Well, Victor Grusha has been aware of his power and ability to heal from a very young age. His blend of uh, spiritualism and science has helped many people overcome physical conflict and trauma. Although he doesn't use his abilities to make predictions about the future, he encourages his clients to explore into their past to uncover their disturbances. He has an upcoming workshop in September titled Legend in You. He joins me in studio this morning. Victor, good morning. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you very much for having me on your show. Okay, so uh, uh, do we have one sense of understanding of spiritual healing? How do you understand spiritual healing? Well, this is a... A very pertinent question. I mean, a lot of people, um, when it comes to spirituality, they do look at it with a lot of skepticism. In, in term, in, in, and many times people look at spirituality and get it confused with religion, for mm. example. Mm. You know? mm. And it's actually, it's, uh, spirituality is non-denominational. Spirituality exists within all of us. It's inside. And uh, someone actually asked me that day, I mean, what is it about journey because you take people on journeys. What is journeying? And journeying is really a form of meditation so that you actually separate from mind and actually go into and delve into who you truly are as a consciousness. Mm. Many people will argue that we've just come out of an election period where a lot of people have had to do a lot of introspection depending on where, you, where you're coming from. Talk to me about kind of just dealing with things and finding closure and having the ability to move on. Well, this is the, <coughs> this is the issue and, and, and there are a couple of issues that we need to talk uh, and, and look at. That is pain and trauma and, and that is issues that currently we obsess about with regards mm. to our state of mind. Mm. When we live in mind often all we do is just think about the same thing over and over and over again. Mm. It becomes an obsession. You actually cannot actually detach from and the actual And is that conscious, that obsession? It's, it, 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 particularly if it causes you emotional distress. Okay. You just keep thinking about that same thing where it starts off as a, as a little hill and develops into this huge mountain and that's all you tend to think about you mm. live it eat it and obsess about it but until you actually detach from it um, you, you will always actually be completely immersed in that thought pattern and structure and way of thinking mm. um, and and and, and, and it's, a lot of it has to deal with pain as well if you have to think about it because either pain becomes emotional and it's draining and it consumes your life or alternatively what we, we do is negative detachment and that is bury it deep mm. and think that we have dealt with it mm. and then later on it just tends to manifest in many ways how common is that one that's a very common one it's a very common one because particularly in dealing with certain patients and I take them on certain journeys when it comes to for example meeting with your inner child um, a lot comes out that they mm. weren't even actually aware of mm. and that is deep uh, uh, emotional stress that's been put into the subconscious somewhere and locked away with seven keys so to speak. Um, the power of speaking and acting in a positive manner. Well this is th th it definitely forms a process. But like I said, positive man mantras are not enough. Okay. It's like putting okay. a Band-Aid over a big wound and hoping that it will heal. Yeah. If you do not release that pain and that trauma emotionally, then you're, it's like you can look at the mirror and say, I'm happy, I'm happy, until you're blue in the face. Mm. It actually has to come from within for it to be effective without. I understand that people have different issues affecting them at different stages of their lives. But that step of dealing with your pain, becoming detached in a positive sense, Correct. is that general for everybody? Or do you have to kind of custom it depending on where that person is in their space? I think you've just hit the, the, the nail on the head. And many times it is, it, it's, you know, people do have uh, good upbringings and good mm. childhoods. But then... Um, the more we, 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 we traverse through this life, the more, um, the more it's put into our subconscious. Mm. Uh, the way we are taught, uh, our teachers, um, 
for example, media stimuli uh, mm. goes into our, our brains. I mean, there's so much stimuli happening today in this modern world that all that information goes somewhere mm. and is stored in there. And often we get into these thought structures and patterns um, that we ourselves aren't even aware of. So it's, it's either... Uh, depending on the person, I mean, often it can be major mm -hmm. emotional stress from a very young age that needs to be dealt with, and it only comes out later mm -hmm. on in life. Victor, let's quickly talk about your upcoming workshop in September, very quickly. Okay. Very quickly. Um, our, uh, the workshop uh, it really specializes in, in pain and trauma, which everyone really goes oh, through in life, for sure. be it uh, the loss of, uh, of someone, a personal crisis in relationships, the end of, of something very dear to you. Um, it's about understanding it. It's about coming face to face with it, but inside of yourself and releasing it so that you can then detach mm. from, because the key to, to life is, is really detachment. Once you learn the art of detachment, but with love For sure. and forgiveness, then you can actually move on to the path that you, we all are Our deserving of. Form. Exactly. Victor, unfortunately, we run out of time. Fascinating conversation. Victor Grasso is a spiritual healer. He's talking to us about his upcoming workshop. You can Google the details to find out more. But uh, if you're in the, it will happen at the Gallagher Estate on the 13th of September. 3rd of September, sorry. 3rd of September. Yeah. Please go and find out details. Get yourself some tickets and please go and support this. And also connect with yourself. We take it out back to Gallagher.